Excellent action in the field about to commence. The men's javelin throw. This is the first of two qualifying groups. This gets underway right now, well, in about a minute's time. And then we have the second qualifying group at 14.15 local time. Well, some very, very proficient javelin, young javelin throwers in this group, not least of which was Leandro Ramos of Portugal. Omer Farouk Avan, the first to get underway. Qualifying distance, the automatic qualifying distance is 72 metres. That's a good qualifying distance. Only nine men have thrown over that distance in Europe this year. So it's highly likely that we'll see some non-automatic qualifiers going through. But we were talking earlier about Portuguese medal possibilities. We'll see him a little bit later on in this group. Certainly Leandro Ramos is one of them. Turk, well, back in 2017, competed in the World Under-18 Championships and made the final on that occasion. Turkish Under-20 champion. He also took the Under-20 Balkan title. And that was where he set his personal best of 68.71. That was around 65 metres. Respectable start for Avan. He'll need to throw more than that for sure to get through to the final. Less useful start at 65.22. Jonathan Malou, Italian, best of 69.76, bit better. Well, the two lines out there, 65 and 72 meters. So, what it is? 69.37, well, that's a good throw. 39 centimetres down on his personal best, so throwing that close to his personal best. Excellent start to proceedings for Malou, to Pius Liner. Now, this is one of the more favoured men, thrown over 75 metres recently. Did that in a meeting in Tusala. Oh, well, he's made light work of qualifying. He goes through to the final tomorrow. Very quick on the runway. Nice technique. Well, never counts against a, a finished javelin throw, I think you'd say. It's bias liner. easily into 76 26 well that's a personal best by over a meter as well for liner just turned 18 last week florian a bit, a bit down on that the romanian i should say czech rather So just over 67 metres for the Czech, Martin Florian. David Wegner, Poland, over 70 metres at best. Not far from 70 metres. Yeah. 
69-69 Wagner. Certain symmetry with that result. Ah, Morris Voigt. Uh, one of the leading contenders. Throw nearly 75 metres. And he's... I'm going to say that's over the 72 metre line. It's right there. Just slightly short on the replay. 71.54 for Voigt. Adam Vina. He's a 69.30 thrower at best, the Austrian. Austrian under 23 title. That dips down at around 67 meters. Sixty-eight eight. Sixty-eight fifteen. So speed Salah. 71 metres exactly for the Cypriot. Dips down rather short of the 65 metre mark. His best mark of 71 metres is indeed a Cypriot under 20 record. But as just a bit more than six metres short of that. Finn Helbig. 71.86. The best for the German. Dips down short. Forty-five for Helbig. Now we see one of the big guns in this competition. Seventy-seven fifty-seven for Ramos, number two on the European Under Twenty list this year. Ramos crashed out of qualifying at the World Under Twenties last year. That's they're all thereabouts. He thinks it's an automatic qualifier, judging from his triumphant demeanour. So, 74 55, very good performance from Ramos. So, he becomes the second automatic qualifier in this group. Suntash of Latvia. Another very good throw indeed. It was eight at the World Under 18s two years ago. Didn't make the final at the World Under 20s. Just a shade under 72 metres. As he goes for that full out. I think some people call it the pit kamati technique. Of unleashing your javelin and ending up prostrate. Sometimes 71.53. So a couple of throwers like himself and Voigt, very close to that 72 metre mark, but just not quite over it at the moment. Simonavi. Well, Navi was sixth last year of the world under 20s as a best over 75 oh. just checking whether that was a 
Red flag or not, so they might have struggled to control it. Uh, it was measured. Of the evening session. Talking of javelin. So, this is Maulu, the Italian. Oh, that's over the qualifying mark. Well, he was just a few centimetres short of his personal best of 69.76 in the first round. And that's a big improvement. That's added over two metres to his personal best. 72.09 for Jonathan Malou. So, Martin Florian of Czech Republic. Had a rather disappointing 67-71 in the first round. He's thrown well over 71 metres. The Czech under-20 champion. That's a personal best. That's more than metres further than he's thrown ever before. So plenty of throwers bringing their A game to this competition. We've already had a spate of personal bests, including Liner and Florian and Malou. Well, Florian now, 74-10. So this is Morris Voigt. Had a good 71-54 in the first round. Launches it cleanly. Nicely done. That's also over 72 metres. Now Voigt has a personal best of nearly 75 metres. Nicely done for Voigt. So I make that five automatic qualifiers now and three personal bests from those. And Timo Nabi brings this first qualifying group to an end. 66-96 at the moment. Oh, good throw from Nabi. Well over the qualifying mark. And that's a season's best. That's thrown 75-90 last year. So now seven men. Automatic qualifiers for the final. 74-20. Excellent throw, one of the best throws of his life. And a season's best for the Finn, who joins his compatriot Tobias Liner in the final. So there's the standings after the first group. Three personal bests in the top five, including Suntash at 77. 75. Maulu, another personal best as well, making seven automatic qualifiers. David Wegner, well, have to wait and see whether his 70 43 will be good enough to see him through.